The young bridegroom of the year, Patrick John Nugent, bounds up the steps of the church a half hour before his wedding. Mr. Gerard Nugent is best man in proxy for his other son, who's in South Vietnam. Lucy Baines and President Johnson arrive at the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception. Priscilla Kidder, who made Lucy's gown, sees that the train doesn't drag the ground. The bells in the church tower have been peeling over the city for an hour. Halfway up the 37 steps to the church door, Mrs. Johnson joins her husband and daughter. Lucy's gown is of white organza, decorated with Rose Point Alençon lace. The veil is short, but the train is nine feet long. 700 guests and 39 attendants wait inside for the wedding procession to start its way down the long flower-decked aisle of the largest Catholic church in the United States. Three priests officiate at the nuptial mass. After the 85-minute ceremony, Mr. and Mrs. Nugent emerge to greet the thousands gathered outside. Following the honeymoon in the Bahamas, the young couple will live in Austin, where Mr. Nugent will attend the University of Texas. The bubble top car will give Washingtonians a glimpse of the Nugents during the 10 minute drive to the White House. As in every family wedding, there are pictures before the reception begins. It's not every family, however, that has so glamorous a setting for the pictures. Inside the White House, there are flowers everywhere. The traditional cutting of the cake by the bride, a tradition the icing defies. Presidential pressure is brought to bear. back outside for more pictures. Theirs is accounted by all odds the largest and most sumptuous White House wedding in American history, all centering around two nice young people, quite simply, in love.